hello to my new video and today I want to show you very useful things so on this Autodesk sample file I have some view and I have some air terminal schedule and uh, this air terminal schedule it's not related uh, just to this view as usual it will schedule all air terminals that we have in the project so in this Autodesk sample project we have uh, 309 elements uh, which belongs to this air terminal schedule and my idea was okay I have in total number of elements but what if I want to show just the elements which I have on this view over here uh, can I somehow uh, force uh, Revit and this schedule to, to give me just the elements that I have in this view so let's see how many air terminals we have in this view so we have 105 elements and once again we have 309 elements in this uh, schedule so first of all i will just run the script to show you that that is possible i did run the script and the script need to do a couple of things okay now let's see the result. The result is uh, those 105 elements. Uh, and if I want, now I can change the schedule. And maybe I can itemize every instance. And again, it will all fit in this one sheet. Uh, if I did leave those uh, 309 elements, uh, I would need to split that table in order to have all those elements here. But even if we leave it as, as it is without itemizing every instance, now you can see that uh, we are matching the total number of elements on the view and on the sheet. And what is the logic behind this entire script? So at first we will create new parameter. So I will create new project parameter, uh, which is called F schedule. Uh, and my thought was like filter schedule. So uh, the script needs to create this parameter. It needs to uh, recognize from this sheet and from this view over here how many elements regarding the air terminals we have here. And in, it needs to compare each element. So those uh, 309 elements which we had uh, needs to compare now with all elements in the view and it needs to leave just the elements which are in that floor plan so if uh, we for the moment unhide this cell and again we show all the instances so now all the elements which we did have in the schedule and we have that element uh, in our uh, view will for this new parameter have uh, this value yes and the script will automatically create this filter so it will took this new parameter it will say equal yes so at the end we will have just those 105 elements and in the end you will have something like that so the script create new parameter create new filter recognize the elements and hide that cell and now i will show you the entire script you can make this script better you can create an interface and i did uh, build this uh, script in less than an hour I just want for this case to see if that is even possible and you can easily customize this script to fit your needs so what we have here we did have uh, this a couple of times now so i will create new project parameter and i have some additional logic uh, when i run the script again in order to avoid uh, creation of uh, uh, new parameters each time so if the script recognizes that I already created some previous run this parameter, it will not uh, create that parameter again. So at the beginning, we want to see entire list of the sheets. This is a really cool node. So for those sheets, we can use uh, viewports and we can also deal with the schedules. So I want to see for all sheets, what schedules do I have on those sheets? and i can see here that this air terminal schedules was here now i did flatten that create a unique items of those schedules and here i did through the schedule but you can again create a user interface and you can type it which sheet do you want or which schedule do you want 
and now uh, when I pick this air terminal schedule uh, now I want to create some automatic way that uh, for that chosen schedule uh, the script will automatically recognize what views I have on that schedule and it needs to took uh, those elements from those views da -da 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 -da. so now we know that for uh, this view and air terminals we have some elements on that view on schedules on the same place and in order to compare those elements more easily I want to get to know that there are IDs so that is the, the one thing for comparison other thing is and uh, here when you have schedules in order to get to know what elements do you have in those uh, schedules so for example if we again turn on this item is every instance so for each of these elements i will need again uh, their ids in order to compare that with the elements which i have on the view so here i have my schedule here i did find a very cool python script which can uh, do this for me so the, there are guys that already create python script that can from uh, schedule data to transform that to elements and this is the link where I did basically copy paste this script. I will leave also this link in the description. So as an output from this Python script, I will have a list of elements which are included in this schedule. I will flatten that, make unique uh, item list. And again, I will ask for their IDs. I did so that, uh, that over here I have some extra elements which are null. So that is why I also include this logic. If the object is a null, then I will filter them. And at the end over here, I will have IDs for the elements in the schedules. Here I have IDs of the element in the view. I will compare that. And I think for this one, you, you need to be careful. So if you are building some user interface and you want to check all schedules and all sheets, you can easily uh, have 20 or 30,000 elements which need to be uh, cross-checked and that can take probably half an hour hour or two hours depending on your machine so okay now when we know uh, which elements uh, we have in the view and uh, how we need to reduce uh, that amount of elements in the schedule now for uh, those 105 elements i want to uh, set this parameter value for this parameter which i created so here for those 105 elements which we have in the sheet and we have in the view we want to set this uh, f schedule parameter with a value yes uh, this is the, like just a dummy part in order to force dynamo to first populate this uh, value regarding the uh, f schedule parameter and then to proceed with the creating of the filter and everything so now uh, we must also insert over here add filters so when we are so when we're starting with a schedule we don't have that new project parameter we don't have this extra field over here so at first uh, we did create a parameter we did populate the value now we need to include that field to be part of this schedule and that we will do over here so over here we will have that as a field and now we have a field we have a value we have a parameter we have everything now we need to set a filter for this schedule so whenever you see yes for uh, those elements you will need to filter them and finally at the end when we created a filter when we have now from 309 105 elements now i think it will be cool that we hide that additional project parameter in the schedule uh, so we can avoid that uh, that new parameter which is not useful for the guys looking at that uh, sheet uh, we can hide if you leave that uh, field you can ma manually then hide it um, if you want to but if you want automatically to hide that column uh, again i did find very useful python script for that this is the link I will leave uh, all those links in the description and at the end when you created a filter it will just hide that uh, column and that will be it and that's it for this video bye